Righty ho. Mr. Krabs, I don't have time for your bullshit. I'm here on a mission. I'm on a mission to sort of finally finish this. This is gonna happen. There's no way to stop me. Um. Apart from crashing my game. Which, oh boy, I hope I didn't just jinx it. Curse you, Todd Howard. Um. Do I check out the crashed ship? I guess I do. It's not on the radar, it's just here. Is there something inside? Can I go inside? This is just here. Observer Curious, okay. So it's like a minor reward for finding this. That's fine. Did you guys drop some loot? Did you drop Cthulhu? I'm not gonna try to find out. Let's just get out of here. There's a giant smoke plume. Is there a camp out there, really? Is it gonna be Camp of the Exiles again? Are you gonna make me feel bad one last time? Huh. Whoa, it's a house on fire. Well, that's not good. Um. <gasps> Bestel's Alchemy Laboratory. Ooh, something went horrendously wrong. <gasps> Jesus. I'm willing to bet it has something to do with these filthy, filthy robbers, but still. Did you guys, like, try to start a meth lab? Is that it? And the guy said, no fuck off, so he torched the place. Can you please stop bashing my skull in? It's fairly annoying. How about you? You really think you're tough. You're you're hot shit, really. You think you're hot shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you gotta keep dodging. You gotta keep dodging like a pro, yeah. You think you can dodge forever, and that's what I thought. Ah, Jesus Christ. That's a nice pier. I should probably check out the house that's on fire, but... Ooh. What is that? Some gold. Hmm. And a nice view, though. <laughs> Wait, what is that? Oh, that's the ghost town. Of course it is. Of course it is. Hmm. Right. Um. I guess we're gonna go check out the house. See if there's anybody still alive. Probably should have done that first. Now that I think about it, but... Ooh. Hello. Expert calcinator. A unicorn horn. That's nice and all. Liquid explosives. Yeah, that's, that's probably what... Um, the shit that went down. I wonder if I can still go inside. Let's see. Ooh, no, I don't think so. Like, the roof is all out. Place is trashed. Wait, there's something else here. There's, like, something on my map. Sort of that way. Ah, oh, strange. What is that? Do I hear techno music? Is this a thing we're doing now? Something skeevy is going on. Is there a party? Am I not invited? What's going on? Sven's secret dance club, you say? Oh, hell yes. Alright, lads, I'm coming in. Oh, this is just like the bar I used to go to. That goes underground. Sven plate filter. Wanted, Sven plate filter, known to swipe all types of plates and bowls and set to run an illegal dancing club. Oh, that's amazing. How you doing, lads? Are we here to party? Yeah, that's fantastic. Look at all these people. Just hanging out. I'm not too sure how you're playing, uh... You're actually playing music on plates. And, yeah, Sven, um, that's kudos to you, but... Where's the music? It just fell off. Can I get some drinks? No. 
I could, but I'd have to seal them. Can I just have one beer? Come on, lads. Two beers. Three beers. I swear. I swear, and then I'm quitting. Don't judge me. Just want to have fun. There we go. Fantastic. Sven's Gotham Dance Club. I sort of gyrate on. Yeah, no, it's not happening. Well, that was definitely an experience. Um, spent like the night at Sven's. Is there something there? Oh wait, that's the cave I was at. I see. Wow, things are uh, going by fast. I'm starting to think there's not that much left anymore. A stinky cave, you say? Do we really need to do this? Do we have to end my epic adventure? With a small trek inside like a stinky cave. I'm assuming it's filled with mushrooms. Are these, yeah, the stink horns. Is there something else thinking up the place? Yeah, goblins. Who would have guessed? Come on, you green bastards. Whoa. Whoa, tough boy, tough boy. Jesus. No, you don't. Righty ho. There's a lot of mushies. There's a lot of goblins as well. This feels like our twin all over again. It's been a while. Since we had like a slaughter cave. I guess this is happening. These guys actually are fairly good at spotting me, Jesus. I'm gonna blast my way through this. I don't particularly think I need the loot anymore. And I don't know if there's like armor sets that I still have to finish. I hope I showed off all of them. If I didn't, you can sort of tell me, but... Oh, you dick. Come here. Don't you even get started on me. I'm the Master Archer here. You're just a numpty with a piece of wood. Oh god, this place is a navigational nightmare. It's the dragon caves all over again. I'm trying to figure this place out, but... Let's see, I go up here, okay. Kill my 100 millionth goblin. And of course they see me. I hate you guys so much. Come on, Waylon, can't you do this for me? I'm so sick of these bastards. I've killed millions and they just won't stop. They won't ever stop. Down you go. Yeah, you better run. They just keep coming. What's here? What's in here? Ah, some health potions can hurt, but I would much prefer to get like a solid way through this shitty cave. Okay, here it goes. I think I'm heading like into the rat's nest now. Don't know what you are, but I'm not giving you the time of day. Whoop. Did I get him? I did not get him. How did you survive that? Holy shit. Tough as goblin known to man. Come on, come here. Barbarian, really. That's your name. That's what you're going with. I mean, Jesus Christ, buddy. Since it's becoming increasingly obvious that uh, the woes of this mortal coil are not particularly for me anymore, um, I should probably swiftly move on. I cashed my last bounty. Quest completed. Yeah, that was indeed the last one. As I said, we are drawing very near to a conclusion. But, you know, in the interest of 100% uh, completion, there are still a few more things that I want to see around here. And also particularly because, um, well, um... Our man, what's his face? Callisto, he can go suck it. He can do, go sit there and think about what an asshole he is while we sort of go around and uh, explore the world. Yeah. That sounds fantastic. Let's go for it. Whoop.
I did say we, yeah. I was talking about you, buddy. Yeah, you're my best friend. You're my best and only friend in this entire thing. I love you. Come on, let's go. Alright, lads. Um, wait. What is this? I thought this was a, a cave of some sort. There's like some beer and a stash of fatigue potions for when you run out of beer. I get it. <laughs> I thought this was going to be a cave. It was going to be all like, here we go, here we go. I can do it again. Um. Um. Wait, how do I get in there? <laughs> wow, you're ruining my dramatic entrance. Um, shit. What is that even? I thought it was going to be a cave of some sort, but... Oop. Okay, I'm going to have my dramatic entrance, whether you like it or not. Um, If I have to climb up there... With my teeth, I don't care. There you go, lads. Mommy's coming. Oop. And I do definitely mean the double entendre, yeah. We are going full ham. Righty ho, the vault of tessellation, you say? How about the vault of fuck you? You're all going down. I started to realize what an absolute abomination I am. I should embrace it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Get completely wrecked by my ghost, yeah. Oh, it's an exile. Okay, um, I'm gonna show, like, a modicum of respect. It's... Have a moment of silence for the fallen. And we go. Sure. Anybody else? You. You probably don't want to, but here we go. Ah. Mommy's coming to pay her dues. And you guys are kind of in the way. And since this place has like a cool name, that means um, it has me all over it. It's called like the Vault of Tessellation. You can't just call something the Vault of Tessellation and then ex not expect like a random rabbit adventure to sort of come after you. <laughs> that just doesn't work. Come on, be reasonable. You have to name your cave like um, the Cave of uh, Tax Returns. Or perhaps the Cave of Golf, and anybody would like, you know, okay, yeah, what's that place? Oh, it's just a Cave of Golf, it's fine. It's the Cave of Tax Returns. Oh, yeah, we don't want to go in there, do we? <laughs> you just be on your way. You don't call it the Vault of Tessellation. You complete idiot. Oh, you're running. Oh, you're running, really, yeah. Good show. Grand show. Anybody else? Ooh, it's getting fairly dark. Spooky. Too bad, like, the spookiest thing in this entire building is probably me. Sup, lads? Oh, wow. These are, like, <laughs> very, very meager holdings. I feel a bit bad about that. But sure. And this one actually locked his, like, bedroom. What trinkets might we find inside? Hey, buddy. Wow. Is that it? Really? Are you the enemy? This is starting to seem kind of pathetic. Uh, yeah, I guess here we go. Um, I'm starting to feel bad about this. <laughs> I was being all gung-ho because, you know, I knew I was at, at the end of the game. But you guys are legit making me feel bad now. This didn't even have a boss. It was just like a random chick. Oh my god. What have I become? I've become a completionist. The worst scum of the earth. Holy shit. Can I get out of here? <laughs> Can we just hide my shame? I'm gonna close this and never look back. I, if I wasn't lazy, I would have dragged you in there, but sure. Is this the Vault of Tessellation? Is that it? You can't call something a Vault of Tessellation. It's just a hovel. It's a hovel where people cower in. Come on, lads. That is just all kinds of sad. Shall we keep going? Let's see, there's still a few more things to see around here. I'm gonna head straight to the Poisoner's Cave, because I fear I may have missed one magic symbol. And I really, really hope I know where it is. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm gonna be going like on a giant fetch quest again, just before the end of the game. And that would be just a teensy bit sad. I perhaps would like to avoid doing that. 
Henceforth, I shall first go to the Poisoner's Cave. Which... Down the road. Yeah, there's something else there. I'll be with you guys in a minute. Doo -doo -doo -doo. There's like two more uh, symbols. There's there's one at the actual end of the game. There's one in Quebec as well that I still have to get. Um, and then what? I need like two more. Yeah, there's one probably in a dungeon that I haven't done yet. And I'm pretty sure the last one should be here. I would hope that the last one is here. Somewhere. <laughs> because if not, I am completely screwed. Um, I don't particularly need your money. I don't care for it. I have all the money in the world. I, uh, I probably literally have all the money in the world. So, uh, yeah. Is there like a second floor to this? Ah, there we go, there we go. Gimme, get- No, nothing will stand in my way. Not even some fucking shoddy craftsmanship. Give me that goddamn symbol. I swear to god. Are you kidding me? Are you- Are, are you gonna start on me? Really, are you gonna start on me? Come on. Hey, Have you seen what you're dealing with? Give me that goddamn symbol, I swear to god. This is gonna be the toughest boss battle in the world. Oh, no, wait, never mind. Here we go, here we go. Sweet. Um, yeah, let's get out of here. You can see what sort of happens when all that completionist power goes to your brain. Start realizing that you're pretty much capable of everything. As long as you put your mind to it, and your time. Of which I guess there is only a finite amount, so yeah, there you go. Shall we swiftly move on from this conversation about the pointless toil of death and find a new dungeon? Yes, how about yes? Um... Do I go that way? What is that? I'm not particularly, like, looking for anything special anymore. You gave me the Vault of Tessellation, and it was a bit of a bust, so... I wouldn't be surprised if, uh... It's not gonna get a lot of bet- Wait, what is this? Some paper and some gold. What the hell happened here? <laughs> Did some dude just flip out on his diary and his wallet? I don't need this money. Jesus Christ, what am I doing? Hmm. Yeah, something definitely happened here. I'm thinking somebody tried to camp here and uh, <laughs> it didn't go well. Or this is pirate booty. That's a possibility since I've driven all the pirates to extinction. Except for that one group in the North Realm. Pretty sure we're good. It's a free country, you know? Huh. Well, this is taking a very distinct turn. We're heading back into the forest. North Plain, really? Really? Huh. We're like heading like straight up to the dark forest. It's right behind this cliff. That's curious. Okay, you got me kind of hooked, game. I, I know I'm trying to try my darnest to sort of bust my load all over you and finish you, but I am kind of intrigued. Yeah, you're not escaping from that. What are you guys protecting? It better be something good. I'm gonna be really, really mad. I can't for the life of me think of anything that would please me, but... <laughs> you know, that's kind of your problem, not mine, so... Rolock's Cave. Hmm. Who the hell is Rolock? Are you Rolock? Apparently not. How about your friend? Can we can we not talk about this? I'm just here to see Rolock. I'm just a curious bastard. I neither care whether you live or die, so um hmm. I guess they prefer dying? Sure. 
If that's what suits you, then by all means go for it. Attack the giant armored lady that spouts frozen hell. Hmm. This place is kind of curious. It's it's just a ramshackle mine again. <laughs> That's actually what bothers me the most. I get the feeling that what the game wants you to do is not explore Treyamar uh, the way I did and actually keep that for uh, the final part of the game. I may have made a big whoopsie by doing it like that. How you guys doing? Is any of you Warlock? Can you just answer the question? I, I really... We don't have to do this. And you um, also are incapable of doing this, so you just disarm me, how dare you? Now you die. No. Ah, <sighs> some people. Um, yeah, there we go. Is any of you guys Warlock? Can we so, sort of worry this out so I can get out of here? He seems like a very well-dressed man, but he's not Rolok. I wonder who this Rolok man could be. Ooh. I mean, while I'm here, might as well take all the resources in the world. Hoard them in one place, because that's how you make the world more efficient, right? That's how it works. You just put all the resources in a giant chest and have it rot, so nobody else can get it. How about that? <gasps> Oop. Ah, fucking hell. Hmm. Whoa. No, you don't. I would have probably be, be able, been able to tank that to the face. And I can tank you to the face as well. So, yeah. Are you Rolog? <sighs> you seem very well dressed as well. Kudos to you. <laughs> You've chosen a good outfit to die in. As always, a noble cause. And we commend him to the earth. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take your mushrooms. No, 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 this cannot be the end. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go, there we go. I'm not taking your goal, you can have it. I care not for your weird materialistic goals, because I've met them for myself already. <laughs> it's always easy to be zen, isn't it? If you already own like most of the resources. Ugh. God damn it, some people. Fucking Jeff Bezos. <clears throat> Let's see, um, were you perhaps Rolog? You had a giant fat sword, which I'm gonna take from you now. Pretty sure I've put the battle him on already. Sweet. Bandit leader. Hmm. Why well, she has a symbol? So that's two more left, and I know where the last two are. Hmm. Is that it? That's again fairly sad. Wow, you guys even had a trap set out and you didn't use it. Jesus Christ, lads. You could have, like, pummeled me just a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if I've seen pretty much all there is to see. Or am I- no, I'm missing one important thing, aren't I? I'm not too sure if I'm gonna be able to meet him now. But there's one person who I would love to meet because apparently all this time I've been growing up to his story. Um, hmm. Where's the exit? There we go. And he actually lives in the desert. This person that I'm talking about. And I'm sort of assuming that my character was still pretty young back when we started uh, the game. And she has now grown to a full-fledged woman, and just a teensy bit beyond. It is quite interesting how you can trek through uh, this entire area, have this change of scenery that's really really cool and sort of like heightens your expectations that you're gonna find something different. But then at the end of it, you just get a random bandit cave, which I feel like the desert might be the place where they put a little bit less effort in the dungeons. Unless it's just my fault. Maybe it's my fault for uh, screwing up the progression. I can totally see that. 
I'm not too sure what, uh, what you guys think about it, but... Yeah, you can definitely tell in Treyamar that I had a lot more difficulty. This is a desert cube. Yeah, we've been here. There's something else out here, though. There has to be. Let's see, yeah. So we've seen that. And there seems to be one more house. The final thing that we have to find. Interesting, ain't it? I've been playing this game for two years. Heading to the end of it. Gonna delete this character, never to be seen again. She's gonna be gone. Ha! <laughs> yes. Who's the bigger bastard now? Is it you, Alessa, or is it me? Was it Alessa? I forget. I even forget what name I gave her. I'm so far gone. Alessa, yeah. Of course. I could take the road up. I am actually kind of curious. We have seen this from the other side. Where you basically walk up to Traymar. Um, this is not that road, is it? What is this? It's just a chest. I feel like there's something up here. Is it just me? Sort of guiding me. Huh. No. There's definitely something here, though. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We stood at the other end of this. What I assumed to be a long, long time ago. And we battled something. Wait, can I pass through now? Oh, I can, of course. Of course I can. I can just pass through. There's nothing blocking me anymore. I am become God himself. Um, I don't really need to, do I? We know it's out there. We've seen the iron fire halls. They were a very, very spicy dungeon. I'll give him that. That was very interesting. But I do see something else on my radar. Just down the road. Oh shit, there's a camp right here, really. Hey lads, how you doing? Yeah, don't mind me dropping in. I actually was almost able to do like the Dark Souls drop, that's fantastic. Ha! Ooh, <laughs> that's gotta suck. What is down here? There is something down the road. I am a curious bastard, and I need to have found it all. Hello? It's close. Somewhere close. So it's scaling the mountains to find it. What is this? Ah, it is. It is what I was looking for. It is Gabor's house. Sadly, the door is locked. Yes, Gabor from the story. He actually lives. And he decided to camp way out into the wilderness. Which is curious. I guess we'll meet him later, and I guess that's all she wrote. I believe I will meet you guys back to finally have a chat with Callisto.